very disappointed with this. If she, if she continued in the heart battle, in the uh, in the grip, she would end up. She just controlled. She just controlled not not controlled, attacked, but yes. controlled, actively controlled the match. Yeah. If she only controlled, she would have been she much would have, better. She would have, she would have won yes. by, the, by the shadows. Yes, definitely. So we're actually now on Poland in white, and we're up against. We're up against now from Turkey in the blue gear. It's the women's under 52 kilo category we're continuing with. And uh, so far, what an outstanding performance from these young ladies and um, these young men here, the under 23 Europeans. It's been outstanding already, the excitement in the air and the, the level of the quality of judo now that has been performed within such a short ah, period of time. Oh, lovely. lovely. And that's just another example of what's really been, ex we've been seeing just within this hour so if you've just joined myself Loretta Doyle and Jan here who's um, kindly joined me and made it such a pleasure to, to be um, reporting to you for this event uh, so far it's been good huh for women's it's, judo it's what do you think of that that was a great start for this <laughs> it was a great lady. start for, for these ladies I mm. didn't expect such a beginning oh. <laughs> a bit of girl power doesn't do us any harm, does it? So, yeah, the standard of the women's judo is very, very strong. And uh, we always expect great performances from these young men. And um, But delighted to see that the prospect that's coming, this is our future within world judo. And what wonderful quality we have right now. So we have the Polish contender. She is... Um, Leading now with the Wazari. Shido just been awarded now to the Turkish contender, Aka. So she'll have to really start stepping up the pace now and, and trying to stay back into this match. But um, a Wazari up, she's got a hard task in front of her against this Polish contender, who's a very, very strong athlete. But that was a great start. A good counter attack there against the young lady from Poland. Kimkowska, really a strong, strong athlete. You can see that. Very, very strong posture. Nothing seems to be phasing her. She's very, very determined and so confident looking as well. Not a good drop, Sinagi from Pinkovska, no, but she's just no. keeping the pace of the match. She's just doing enough. She's methodical about this. She's not, unlike what we've seen with the Austrian, she went attack, attack, attack. And it, it was a fault for her. She lost the match by doing too much. With this young lady, she's doing enough. She's a Wazari up. It's the first match. She wants to last it to just get that warm warming up feeling in preparation for the the next rounds and uh, i don't think obviously Arka from turkey is a very very strong contender very strong athlete um so she has to be very very careful she cannot afford to make any silly mistakes and um, by putting attacks in um that's unnecessary which could f cost her the match and as we saw that's what cost the austrian in the previous match flurry of attacks here for this young lady from Turkey and the Turkish have got a good team in this weekend a very very strong team the women are outstanding but very very strong very very powerful young ladies that have come through they've put a lot of time and, and finances into this Turkish team and it's starting to, to pay off. You can start seeing the, the results now in such a match like this. The, the, look at the strength of this young lady. Just ragging her about like a doll. And but more generally, the, the South of Africa yes. is rising. The I, Algerian, mean the, I mean, the Judo the Algerian, Turkish, Egypt, yes, Egyptians. Egyptians. Yes, very, very strong women.
I competed in Tunisia some six years ago and I saw the training center. It was unbelievable. Yes. So so many competitors, so many sparring partners. Even though on, on the competition then competed, I don't know, fifth, five or six Tunisians. But the training center was full of them. You, you can choose uh, ten sparring partners Amazing. in the weight category and, and the 81. Yes, it's absolutely fantastic when you can get high quality all together under one roof. So I think that the quality of the well, athletes the from the South Africa will... Yes, yes, they will be contenders. Will be con a dropsy and Aggie went round the back catching that leg to drop her down, but obviously there's a Yuko scored now, so she's still maintaining that lead quite comfortably. A little bit of pressure in between. That last minute was a little bit more than she most probably wanted, but she's still doing nicely to keep the Wazari and Yuko. There's two Shidos on the board for the young lady from Turkey, Aka. But a good performance for that. Oh, oh, lovely attack there. Oh, an absolutely nice, but just failed to catch a foot with that Koichi. But again, very, very strong attack. Tom and Aggie attempt there. Nice and controlled. Clock ticking away, so just over 30 seconds to go. And I think we can comfortably say that um, Poland are leading and they are going to take this this match oh again lovely as she was her huh? again looking for the knee was the clock will tick away quite nicely so tactically a very good move Arsa from Turkey has last 15 seconds 12 right now. It, it's just a chance for a one last attack. Desperation uh, now, uh, if try and put everything in. And she's powerful enough to try and give it 100%, but um, sadly just leaving it that little bit too late. And uh, a very convincing win there, Pankowska of Poland, who goes through to the second round of this women's under 52 kilo category. So that was outstanding performance there. Very, very confident young lady. And we